So James, um, your in Instagram has been quite inspirational, mm -hmm. uh, showing how you've been able to come back from the accident and come back to say full fitness. Yeah. Talk to us about that journey. Uh, it's been tough. It's been tough, but um, I think every athlete can kind of relate to just getting stuff done really at the end of the day. So I haven't really had a choice. It's either kind of let it defy me and relax and just sit on my, sit on my butt or try and come back. So that's what, I, that's what I've tried to do really. And um, I think when you were younger, when you were like 14, 15, you yeah. said something like, uh, you were, uh, you sort of like, a lot of people thought you had a lot of front to say, oh, you're going to be one of the greatest athletes in yeah, the country. Yeah, yeah. And then of course that happened. So yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how important is the mental strength to sort of believe that you can... It's probably the most important thing. You need, you need to, what's going on, man? What are you saying? What's going yeah. on? Security is stopping me from coming in my, my, my old home. You get me? Do you know what this is? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, no, 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 it's not their fault. Um, it's so warm. No, no, that's, that's, that's for Alex. Yeah. For Alex. Oh, that's good. Um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, no, that's that's important to have that belief, and uh, that's the main thing. If you don't have if you don't have the belief, then you're not going to really kind of you can't put anything into action that you don't believe. First of all, so. The, and the doctors obviously said that you wouldn't uh, recover, and uh, you know you take a lot longer to recover. Yeah. Do you think they always say that as a precautionary measure? Of course, of course. They, yeah, I mean they've always got they can't give anybody false hope when it comes to these sorts of things. But um, I think being an athlete helped me in the first place because my body was prepared for the accident you know what I mean so it's, it, it, I think it would have been a lot harder if I, I wasn't doing any exercise or competing as an athlete and um, now you've sort of seen you're doing a lot of uh, running on your Instagram yep what uh, do you think that you'll be able to run on the track again? I think I will, yeah. I think I will, definitely. And uh, what level do you think you'll be able to run at? I think, I think um, I'll get back to where I was. I think I'll know more at the end of this year, by the end of this year. Um, I think at the end of this year I'll, I'll feel, feel how it's going and then I'll, I'll know seriously where I'll come back next year properly. Or. See, the, the injury that you had, I think it was a pel pelvis injury. When I was re first reading about it, they were saying it was a career ending yeah. injury. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was a massive, it was a massive injury, the pelvis. Um, that's actually, that's not too bad at the moment. The problem right now I'm having is still my ankle and my leg that's kind of getting pain, but the pelvis is, the pelvis is doing well. So, Sorry, I've got a lot going on. I've just got here, sorry. <laughs> so do you think, do you think, say your story, say coming back, yeah. you know, and then say if you're able to compete, do you think that's, say, a better story than, you know, than what? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. People hate it there, Ginny Blue and Peacock. I'll tell you another story. But, um, yeah, no, definitely. I think it kind of shows that you can go through some really tough times and if you believe and you're capable of achieving it, you can. So it's a positive story. And um, I remember when you were for London 2012 Olympics, you yep. were struggling for sponsorship, yep, yep. and you uh, you had King of Shaves. Yeah. Finally, uh, for sponsorship, yeah. uh, you got them. Yeah. Uh, how difficult? You know, what is your what is your whole uh, thought, thoughts about how athletes are sponsored? Um, I just think, you know, it's a tough one, isn't it? It's kind of we're living day of age of social media, so. I think the sponsors now in the Vienna sport care more about how much likes and followers you've got rather than actually what you're doing on the track, which is just sad. I went to 2016 at the time and I had, I didn't have a contract in place and I was being offered certain things, but my principle and integrity, I, I weren't setting for that because there's people that weren't making teams that are getting paid loads more money. So I was on the verge of actually getting a massive contract when the crash happened, which is a shame, but you know, stuff happens and I'm alive. So. James, thanks so yeah. much. Please. No problem, man. Cheers. Sorry, it was a bit in and out, but I've literally just yeah. got any second and people. Time to run fast. Yeah, this is <laughs>